Hello everyone, have you ever heard about royal jelly? Do you know how farmers raise bees and harvest royal jelly? Let's find out how farmers make millions from this expensive food. The viscous white drops you are observing are royal jelly, a special food reserved exclusively for the queen bee in the hive. Known as the superfood of the hive, royal jelly is more nutritious than honey, which is why it is priced 20 times higher than honey. Although there is no specific scientific evidence, the functional food industry still believes that royal jelly plays an important role in extending the lifespan of queen bees. Since the 1980s, global production has increased from 700 to nearly 4,000 tons. Royal jelly can be found in its natural form as a health supplement or in skincare products and it can fetch up to $125 per pound. The rapeseed fields are cultivated until the flowers bloom, with wide yellow petals at the top allowing bees to collect more nectar and pollen than other flowers. During this time, the beehive population is the largest and most productive, which is ideal for harvesting high-quality royal jelly. If you admire these hard-working bees, leave a number one in the comments. There are three types of bees born in the hive. Worker bees are sterile females. Male bees and queen bees are fertile females. As larvae, all types of bees develop in these small cells and consume royal jelly. But after the queen appears, only she is allowed to eat. Beekeepers increase royal jelly production by removing the queen bee and placing it in a separate area of the hive. The bees will quickly work to feed all of the potential queen larvae. As you know, worker bees, with their powerful venom, can inflict painful, swollen, and red bites. They will not hesitate to risk their lives when they perceive any danger approaching their hive. For those who are allergic, bee stings can cause severe reactions, even anaphylactic shock, posing a life-threatening risk. To avoid injury from bees during the harvesting of royal jelly, farmers can take protective measures such as wearing thick, brightly colored protective clothing, using smoke from a smoker or smoke machine to calm the bees, and using specialized chemicals or pheromones to reduce bees' aggression. They also need to maintain a safe distance when working near beehives and use protective equipment 
such as masks and helmets, to shield the face and head from bee stings. Queen bees grow one and a half times larger than other bees. They have a lifespan of seven years, while a worker bee only lives six months, and they can lay up to 3,000 eggs in a day, while the workers cannot reproduce. These farmers use artificial capsules to contain fresh larvae, caring for each one individually to ensure optimal royal jelly production. Precision is paramount as they meticulously remove the larvae from the capsules containing royal jelly, safeguarding the delicate existence of the larvae. Due to the small size of the larvae, this task also needs to be done by hand. Royal jelly can be found in beehives worldwide, but it is China that accounts for 90% of global production. The industry saw significant growth in the 1980s when Chinese beekeepers started using a high-yielding bee species called Apis mellifera ligustica. This particular breed has the ability to produce more royal jelly, leading to a nearly 2,000% increase in production over the past 40 years. Join us on a journey to the Royal Jelly Production Factories. In these facilities, strict hygiene measures are implemented in the production area, where raw materials, including Royal Jelly, undergo thorough inspection and processing. Subsequently, the Royal Jelly is pressed into pellets using specialized equipment and evenly coated to ensure uniformity. Packaging is carried out with precision, including X-ray inspection to prevent contamination. Do you find these farmers professional? They don't need much protective gear. They can easily harvest beehives and produce delicious honey. Though not as expensive or prized as royal jelly, honey is still a versatile food with many health benefits. With its natural sweetness and variety of flavors, honey is a valuable source of nutrition, containing numerous vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. If you enjoy the sweet taste of honey, leave a number one in the comment section. Did you know that in many places, the sudden appearance of billions of wild bees attacking humans is creating a horrifying scene and causing panic within communities? People understand the importance of responding immediately to address this issue, ensuring their own safety and the safety of the entire community. But why does this happen?
the invasion of billions of bees is causing disruption not only within communities, but also significantly impacting agricultural activities and social well-being. In the agricultural sector, this situation poses a threat to crops and livestock, destabilizing pollination processes and agricultural production. Moreover, this menace poses a safety risk to the community, affecting daily life and creating widespread anxiety within the community. To prevent the invasion of these bees, farmers can implement measures such as encouraging bees to return to natural habitats, planting nectar-rich flowers and colorful blooms, protecting green areas, creating natural habitats for bees, and supporting natural ecosystems are crucial steps. Protecting the ecosystem plays a crucial role in preventing recurrent attacks from invasive bees. For natural environments and wildlife, maintaining a stable ecosystem not only provides a healthy living environment for animals, but also reduces the likelihood of invasion by harmful factors. By protecting and preserving biodiversity, we can minimize the risks of unwanted events and safeguard the natural environment from negative impacts. Deer have undergone a process of domestication for thousands of years as the connection between humans and deer began during the period when humans transitioned from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle. The domestication process of deer has gradually given rise to deer species considered domesticated, exhibiting adaptability and a close relationship with humans. Raising deer serves various purposes, including meat production, antler harvesting and deer fur, as well as maintaining breeding populations, promoting ecological tourism, and utilizing them in hunting activities. Deer meat can be processed into many delicious dishes. You're now witnessing the creation of smoked venison. With a combination of cheese, hot chili, and many other spices, it's surely to satisfy even the pickiest eaters. Would you like to make this bacon dish yourself to treat your loved ones? Currently, large-scale production of venison is limited, mainly confined to family-run operations. Have you ever wondered why? I believe one reason could be the relatively limited supply of venison compared to more common types of meat such as beef, pork, or poultry. Venison is often sourced from hunting or deer farms, a process that can be challenging and costly to maintain a stable and high quality supply.
The art of deer farming has developed strongly and is prominent in special locations such as New Zealand, Australia, the United States, Canada, China, Russia. These lands are not only a destination for modern agriculture, but also a place that lays the foundation for prosperity and diversity in the care and nurturing of deer herds. If you love these beautiful deer, please leave number one in the comments. Nurturing deer serves diverse objectives, encompassing meat generation, harvesting antlers, producing deer fur, breeding, preservation-centric hunting tourism, and ecological tourism. New Zealand stands out as the primary contributor of deer velvet from its farms, boasting an approximate population of 1.2 million deer distributed across around 3,000 farms. With vast expanses dedicated to cultivating deer feed, a holistic and entirely natural breeding habitat is fostered. Let's delve into the journey of caring for newborn deer until they mature. The gestation period for deer lasts from 195 to 205 days. In the midst of spring, typically from May to June, is the opportune time for deer reproduction. Deer usually give birth to a single offspring each time but there are cases where they may deliver twins or even triplets. When freshly born, Baby deer weigh only about 5 to 8 pounds. Deer are born with spotted fur, but they lose this coat after a few months. Certainly, during the first weeks of their existence, young deer rely on their mother's milk before transitioning to solid food. The mother deer diligently cares for her babies four to five times a day for the first four months, persevering even when the young begin to graze. It's interesting how baby deer gain wisdom from their mothers about the safety of different plants for consumption. On some farms, farmers often create separate areas for small deer, creating a stable and easy to manage environment. Additionally, they can regularly check their health status and, if necessary, provide medical care.
young deer experience swift growth, reaching weights of 60 to 70 pounds in just a matter of months. In this period, they begin exploring independently, but maintain proximity to their mothers for safety. Unlike male deer, who tend to go solo or join a herd after two years, female deer commonly remain with the herd and their mothers for the entirety of their lives. On average, a deer can yield from 100 to 300 kilograms of velvet, but this depends on the species and its size. Once the velvet reaches the desired size and quality, the deer will be harvested for velvet. Usually, the endeavor of nurturing deer for velvet antler harvesting spans from three to five years. Throughout this time frame, the deer receive attentive care, proper nourishment, and continuous monitoring to guarantee their optimal development. The antlers, enveloped in a soft velvet layer, House blood vessels crucial for supplying nutrients essential for horn maturation. Ensuring the safety of both the deer and the handler, gentle restraint or anesthesia is often employed during the harvesting process. Following the removal of antlers, a substance known as oatmeal powder is commonly applied to the cut area. Oatmeal powder possesses blood clotting and antibacterial properties aiding in the prevention of infection and fostering the healing process. This approach serves to minimize stress and mitigate the risk of potential injuries. Subsequently, the deer velvet undergoes boiling and drying to eliminate surplus liquids and impurities, establishing optimal conditions for a swift and high-quality drying process. Following that, the deer velvet is either suspended or arranged on racks to air dry naturally. The duration of drying varies, spanning from a few weeks to several months, contingent on the thickness of the velvet and prevailing environmental conditions. This meticulous process unfolds within a well-ventilated and cool setting, steering clear of direct sunlight. The deer velvet is meticulously sliced into small pieces, roughly half a millimeter in thickness. Subsequently, these pieces undergo an additional phase of drying before being carefully packaged and labeled, tailored to fulfill the specific requirements of the customer.
from a pair of deer antlers weighing about 800 grams, after preparation, it usually yields about 250 grams of medicinal herbs. Deer antler velvet is considered a valuable remedy that helps increase muscle strength, helps lower blood pressure, strengthens heart contractions, contributes to mental health, and brings many other health benefits. This medicinal source is widely used in many countries around the world. Its positive effects also extend to enhancing overall health and strengthening the immune system. Athletes often use it to enhance strength and athletic performance, and its benefits for joint health help reduce discomfort and increase flexibility. We'll get to see the images of the deer antler harvest in a few months. To ensure the optimal growth of deer antlers for the upcoming harvest after the velvet extraction, the deer need to be provided with a balanced and nutrient-rich diet to ensure swift recovery. The diet typically includes foods rich in protein and vitamins to support the recovery process and promote overall health. The living environment of the deer also needs to be safe and comfortable, including enough space for movement, clean drinking water, and protection from harsh weather conditions. Automatic Case Packer Unio 20 is an efficient and convenient solution for the packaging process. With advanced technology and great versatility, this machine increases productivity and ensures optimum box sealing quality. Designed to automatically seal different types of boxes with high accuracy and reliability, this unit features an automatic control system that can identify and position box parts before the procedure is performed. Submit. Automatic, safe packaging process. Key features of the Unio 20 machine include fast box sealing speed, the ability to handle a wide range of box sizes and types, as well as compatibility with different packaging materials such as cartons, paper boxes, or rigid boxes. This machine is the ideal choice for businesses that want to improve productivity and production quality. Are you looking for a high quality, flexible, and cost effective shoulder box production line? Come to ATD Machinery. This shoulder box production line consists of individual machines connected by a conveyor system such as box bottom forming machine, cap bending machine, combine machine, labeling machine, and cutting machine. You can also extend the line with a drying system, a holding system, and a stacker. The production line can be easily swapped between different shoulder bag sizes and can process up to 120 crossbody bags per minute, depending on product. Packaging line with combination of the PQ80 Packer, Unio 20 cartoning machine, and cover machine has created an efficient and convenient packaging process in the industry.
The PQ-80 packing machine is a high-quality equipment designed to quickly and accurately pack products automatically. With flexible adjustment, it can handle a wide range of products and ensure their safety and quality preservation. It features automation and precise control to ensure uniformity in the packaging process. With advanced technology and versatile features, the Unio 20 cartoning machine can handle different types of products and create strong and safe packages. It provides stability and reliability during cartoning ensuring that products are transported safely and without damage. The cover machine can meet different packaging requirements and produce sturdy and attractive packages, helps protect the product from damage, dust or influence from the surrounding environment. The combination of these machines has resulted in an advanced, efficient and reliable packaging line. Next is the extremely modern seating line of Malarski, the leading manufacturer in the agricultural industry. Their seating line is designed to meet the diverse requirements of crops and ensure high yields. This line is equipped with advanced technology and high flexibility. It uses precision components to position and sow seeds on the tray accurately and evenly. This creates the ideal environment for plant growth and development. In particular, it has the ability to customize to match the types of seeds and characteristics of each crop. The support of this machine has helped young trees grow evenly, thereby improving the yield and quality of crops for farmers. Join us to other impressive machines in the agricultural field. This is the Vervate Beet Eater 617, a remarkable beet harvester. The equipment is equipped with a specialized cutter system and a diverse conveyor system to help separate the sugar beets from the soil remove debris and leaves to the treatment system. Vervate Beet Eater 617 is also equipped with an automatic control system to help the machine work accurately and reliably. This system provides users with information about the speed and performance of the machine, helping them to adjust the speed and operation of the machine for maximum production efficiency. Thanks to its efficient and reliable operation, this machine helps farmers save costs and increase production. You see, the farmers are working hard. They're giving their all to bring us the best food. These unsung heroes deserve our respect and gratitude. They are not afraid of difficulties, not afraid of fatigue. When we see fresh fruits and vegetables on the table, we can feel their devotion and passion. Farmers are not just people who work, they are artisans of the land. With their love and extensive knowledge of agriculture, they create beautiful works of nature on every piece of land they come into contact with.
Have you ever seen giant beet harvesters like these? These are professional sugar beet harvesters, Euro Tiger V84, manufactured by Ropa. With the flexibility to work on all types of terrain and conditions, they deliver high performance and reliability. Precise cutting system can cut beetroot evenly and optimally, helping to ensure the quality of the final product. The machine also comes with an effective beetroot filter system, which helps to remove impurities. With its combination of advanced technology and versatility, it is an important tool in the agricultural industry, accompanying farmers in the production of high-quality sugar beets. The John Deere 4730 is equipped with a variable rate herbicide spray system, which means that the amount of herbicide is tailored to the specific needs of each area. This function is controlled by the VNT drone, which uses sensors and cameras to collect data on the density and distribution of weeds on the field. Based on the information gathered, the John Deere 4730's variable rate herbicide spray system adjusts to spray the ideal amount of herbicide each point in the field. This means that areas with a higher weed density will receive a higher dose, while areas with a lower density will receive a lower dose, thereby bringing higher efficiency of weed killer and cost savings avoiding waste of drugs. John Deere is famous for building powerful and reliable tractors. Their tractors are divided into many different product lines, tailored to the needs of each customer. When combined with harrows, cedars, and other tools, the John Deere tractor offers great convenience and efficiency for farmers and pasture caretakers. They help maintain the grass in top condition, while ensuring that lawn care is easier than ever. This combination creates a complete system that enhances the productivity and efficiency of pasture care. The Case IH Puma 240 and the Kuhn Lawnmower are a powerful combination for efficient and quality lawn mowing. The advanced technologies and features of both machines ensure smooth mowing and maximum efficiency. The Case IH Puma 240 is a reliable tractor with outstanding power and performance. Equipped with powerful motor and high quality gearbox, it provides stable and reliable operation throughout the working life. The Kuhn Lawn Mower is a high quality tool specifically designed to cut grass accurately and efficiently. With a sharp knife system and the ability to adjust the cutting height flexibly, it helps to ensure that the grass is cut evenly and with the best quality. Kuhn lawn mowers are also capable of handling large quantities of grass quickly to increase productivity and save time. The combination of advanced technology and powerful performance enhances work productivity and ensures project quality.
With continuous development, manufacturers such as John Deere, Case IH, Kuhn, and many more have come up with innovative and reliable solutions to enhance the production capacity of the agricultural industry. Behind the success of these powerful machines is the dedication and enthusiasm of millions of farmers around the world. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to continue accompanying us. Have a good day. See you again. This is our channel. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor. And this is the content creator.